Walker being a teenager game. <laughs> Kid pool or like teen or like something like that, but I grow a lot and I'm super busy with Percy and it didn't make sense for the time and, and Sean gave me a call about it, which it's like crazy that they were even thinking of me for that. Like that's like all I could ask for and, and the fact that he gave me a call to like tell me that that wasn't happening. It makes me depressed, honestly, that I made like two posts about it on my account. I was trying not to do too much. Because um, I honestly just feel weird that we even have to talk about it and mm -hmm. I like almost don't want to add more to it But I turned off comments on the post that I made twice because I kept getting so many comments from people Even know what you're arguing about like you're arguing that that the adults in this situation should have publicly fucking humil humiliated a 15 year old child because it made them look better is that like that's what you're arguing right now that a, that one of the biggest movie stars in the world should have humiliated this child publicly who he knows he filmed a movie with him he this isn't even like strangers in hollywood these are people that he knew the yeah, people yeah. that he like interacted with that he looked up to and they're absolutely humiliating the fuck out of him when they did not have to do that and you're arguing that they should because he's a kid and apparently that means that none of this matters. Yeah. And it's also, and then also the Percy Jackson stuff where people were like, oh, he looks too old to play Percy Jackson. Uh, we wish we could do something, but you just grow yeah. a lot. I do, unfortunately, which will not match the continuity from last season, but you know. The thing that's like, that I just keep thinking about, I guess, is like earlier this year, like right after the TV show ended in February, his account, his TikTok account, got banned for like a while for like a month or something it was like a month before he came back with a new account mm -hmm. um ever since he came back he he didn't post anything until right before the trailer came out and on his account like you can't like you can only leave comments if you're like a friend of his um before like before his account was banned anyone could leave comments on his videos mm -hmm. um so at the time back in like february when that happened people said that it was because people were making inappropriate comments about his body like i remember seeing videos back then talking about like older people making like a countdown to when he would be 18 which is like super disturbing because in season one of percy jackson he's 13. that's for gross. the majority that he didn't turn 14 until like the last month of the entire season so like you're lusting after a 13 year old kid like that's oh my god and so um i knew that that was happening and so people at that at that time were really upset about that and they're really up in arms about it and we're like we need to like help defend our actors and they're really angry that people were talking to him that way and they're talking to leah that way and and whenever people make comments like that about walker and his body like sexualizing him whatever somebody is always like it's to the point where like teenage kids will literally write like, I'm 15 years old, please don't hurt me. And like their comments when they're saying those comments to say like, I'm close to his age. I promise I'm not being like that creepy because so many people will like ask them about it and know that they don't like when people do that because that is a really weird thing to be like, for him to be experiencing like strangers talking about him like that. Mm -hmm. um, and, but it's like, so people are all upset about that but now a couple months later, the same people that were upset about those things are now just openly talking about him going through puberty and saying that he's like too old or his body has changed too much and making all of these very inappropriate comments about his body. And but for this, it's OK, because it's just about puberty. But it's like if it's not OK to like sexualize him, it's definitely not OK to act like he doesn't matter as a human being, because yeah. that's basically what you're saying. It just makes me feel really angry to imagine the fact watching that interview with him where he's like apologizing for growing up. Yeah. Like he seems like he's he's like sad. He feels like he has to make an excuse for himself. And Ryan Reynolds did that to him and you should die. <laughs> like <laughs> you did that to a 15 year old kid. You made him feel guilty for growing up and made him apologize to his fans in an interview for literally growing up. Like. How many times does this have to happen to child actors before people stop treating them this way? And it's just, 
wild to me. Like he's one of the most liked ones out there right now. Mm -hmm. And so it's, I thought that people wouldn't be this bad with him, especially because the way that he's grown is completely normal for kids his age. Mm -hmm. And so I just, it's, I don't know, it's just really disappointing because I know that you can literally see it affecting him. Yeah. So I'm like, I can't even like pretend like it's not affecting him because you can watch these interviews and see how it is. Yeah. And like, it just makes me sad to know that that's something that is just like part of his experience now of being Percy and it didn't have to be like that. Yeah, well, and the thing that we saw, I, I think I saw it in your comments. I think that I got the feeling of it from a few comments that I read elsewhere, too, is just that because boys' puberty isn't talked about the same way that girls' puberty is, that people thought it was okay. Um, because we're not mm -hmm. saying, like, oh, your balls drop too much or something like that. Or, um, you know, we, we're not putting it in terms of his genitalia or anything like that. Um, whereas girls, when you talk about puberty, you're usually talking about breast growth and periods and stuff like that. It's still, it's still a very, I don't know how to put this. Like, it's still a very confusing process. You know, like, I, I don't think there's a better way to put it than confusing. Like, um, William, my 11 year old talks about how he is scared for his voice to change, how he doesn't want to get too tall, how like he's he doesn't like the process of growing, you know, and if someone was to be like, hey, we're going to give you this role of young Link in like a Legend of Zelda movie. And then, you know, like when they're ready to do the project, oh, sorry, you grew too much and your voice dropped too much. He would be fucking devastated. He would yeah. cry, you know. Yeah. Um, this is a kid who, you know, himself programs his own video games and has been like, I have to do all of these voiceovers before my voice drops because I want them to sound like a kid. Like, yeah. he's I hate talking. that. Yeah. And like, I, I know that this is like a thing I generally talk about with boys, like younger boys, but people just don't think about it in the same way with girls. And, mm -hmm. and it's still just like that person in my comments was like, absolutely driving me up the wall because it was like a 21 year old who was like emphatically arguing with me that it doesn't fucking matter that people are publicly discussing walker's puberty because basically because he's not a girl and it's like do you get that boys also deserve privacy that boys also are going through hard times that they also deserve to be treated with respect like if you would have been up like up in arms with steve levy and ryan reynolds talking about like, oh, her boobs got too big, as opposed to, oh, his voice dropped too much. That's the same. They're making the same sort of comments, same, just total, complete disrespect. Like, boys can't control when their voice changes. And the fact that there's, like, a whole discourse about his voice changing, like, he literally cannot do anything about that. He is a human being. Mm -hmm. Like, and people are talking about it as if it's a problem. And it's like, he's just a person. Like, what do you want? Do you want them to cast age appropriate actors or not? Yeah. Because like, if you're going to cast age appropriate actors, yeah, their voice is going to suddenly change because that's what boys do. Like, this kid is one of the best actors I've seen in so long. And people are like already coming into this season thinking that him just existing as himself is a problem this is the best actor you could ask to have as percy mm -hmm. and you're but you're like treating him as if none of that matters anymore because he went through puberty like i just can't imagine how embarrassing that would feel yeah for him like that stuff is so embarrassing just in general like i remember the guy best friend that i had when his voice changed in eighth grade and how his voice would like you know like squeak and stuff sometimes and how a lot of boys during that age it was embarrassing for them when that their voice would do that because they had no control over when it would start doing that and of course like everyone would laugh at them when their voice would crack and things like that and so like i, I that stuff is embarrassing when you're just like going to middle school. Like I can't even fathom like scrolling on TikTok and seeing people discussing whether you're a good actor anymore because mm -hmm. you 
your voice changed. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is just unbelievable. Like, he does not deserve to be treated that nobody deserves to be treated this way to be fair but but like he definitely doesn't deserve it and it just feels especially horrible because a lot of the people saying it are people like around his age or like that aren't that much older and it's like you guys know what this is like yeah so yeah. why are you acting like he's above the human experience just like you were when you were a teenager